All right, these are the remnants of an 88 Robinson Pro. Um, I would say most of this stuff is actually original to the bike. You have the makings for the complete Ukiah Speedline and GT hubs there. 901 brake, central freewheel. And this, this is a GT three wing power disc without the screen print on it. Somebody spray bombed this thing and I had to clean it and there was no way I could keep it from wiping out the three wings. And you could see the ghost of them until I put a quick hand polish on it. And that took care of the ghost. So you can't really see anything on there, but I can show you the picture before and you'll see. And you'll also see why I had to strip it. GT chain ring bolts. This uh, post kind of surprises me being red. I'm about 50% doubting that this was an original red post because there was some a little bit of red spray bombing on this bike. Not, not much. I didn't really understand what was going on with it, but um, there was a little bit, and I'm wondering if that post was painted because I don't know why they would apply a red post with a chrome frame. The GT Epic headset. There's a couple things going on with that. I'll describe it, but it's not in great condition. Some of it is in great condition, some of it's not. This chain, I doubt it was really original, but it's quite cool. Tough neck tiger stamp. You know, um, it's definitely OG. Stop. It's definitely OG, but that t the the quill bolt, the long bolt, and the what the heck you call those things? Whatever half nut is. Uh, it's not original. The frame looks pretty good, but you're going to find some spots where either there's some rust, and I've got good pictures of this, some rust, too much rust to actually clean, and some chrome flake. I don't know what the heck's going on, why it did that one. And most of it looks quite nice, but I see some over here as well. Um, the only, I don't see any dings or anything like that in this frame set. The only issue I've got going on, I don't know why, but uh, I'm going to show you actually, but the crown race, when you drop a crown race onto the fork, it just goes on. You don't have to push it on. And uh, I know that's not how it's supposed to be. That's the only issue I find. Let me, let me show you what's going on there. So you see there is a shoulder, a primary shoulder. Um, it is does have a split in it right there. You grab that, one part of that thing will lift up. So you'd want to be careful with that. Anyhow, I don't know why it's that way. Uh, and then the handlebars are, oh, easy, easy, Bessie. These are late 80s GT Pro bars. Got a circle stamp on there, you see that? They're uh, not crimped or anything like that. They're not cut. They're um, apropos for the time period, but I doubt they're actually original to this frame. Kind of wild. I guess somebody liked them better than the Robbies. So that's pretty much it. Oh, I, I will mention that the the chrome on these bars has some some peppering and stuff like that in it. I'll I'll show it to you. I'll get some better pictures when there's a little bit more sunlight. I mean, it's a cool set of bars, and they're pretty unusual actually. You don't see them too often. And uh, you got the hopes, speed line, shiny sides, no damage on those. They look good. They have their minor blemishes here and there. I'll take better pictures of that. That's pretty much it. There you go.